look at these it's a scott's farms responsibly sourced from trusted suppliers lucama north carolina medications coming in at even with tomatoes this is not usual i mean i know we be low over here in my parts of new jersey Hey, hey fam, welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video. video. We're in another video. In today's video, we However you are going it. into um, Ludzu. I'm in the middle of how to pronounce it. I used to say Ladell. You it's know Liddell. what? We're going to get it Liddell. together. So today the we German are going Liddell. into here. Haven't been here in a while. And but I'm glad I know I'm still saying it wrong, but it's okay. They're correct So let's go ahead and check Anyway, so this is Shana, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments with us. You guys, check in. Let us know when you are watching doing we right now we're in Belleville New Jersey we have Maya and Hi. we have my mother and Dante all right so walking in all right thank you very much anyhow once again we have my mother say hello good morning we have Maya go ahead Dante all right it's just one sheet oh they do have some drinks here y'all yeah, know the price of soda just been crazy they got the bar too and get two free actually that turns out to not be bad they say save 13.96 um regular price 6.98 per case and it's a 12 pack 10 for 10. oh they got the mix and match here sale at little um it's just one paper that's all you're gonna get is one sheet of paper yeah online you gotta look yes Maya looking at what she want. All right. It's more than one. So go get a different one. I have one. Actually, it is two. No, it's one. It's still one. They do have some produce available. Yes, they do. They got this little bag, two pound bag of um pears here. It's $3.89, making it $1.95 a pound. They have plenty of dates. We have apples already. Pure palm dates. This is 12 ounces and it's $5.99. Oh, you did? They last forever. Wow, their golden apples right now are $5.58, but it is a five pound bag. Wow, some of the items here, I mean, all of the green grapes are gone. What well, those the cotton candy grapes are for $29 a pound? have any more they must be good every time i buy them we don't never sit down and actually try them though i mean i don't try them the kids go ahead and they tear them up but i never sat down and actually tried the cotton candy grapes wow they do have some cornflakes here organic cornflakes coming in at 369 they do have plenty of cereal um here i did see one of the cheapest cereals i could have sworn i did see something here fruit ring cereal coming in at a dollar 69 haven't seen that price in a long time. Something that low. The price of bananas in general have been expensive here. They want 71 cents per pound for their organic bananas and um, 57 cents per pound for the non-organic bananas. And just more of the produce. I'm just seeing gaps with produce almost everywhere, to be honest. They catch the price of the strawberries last time. There's seven fourteen, bringing it at three fifty seven a pound. They are a large size there. Ever check out their bakery items? Yum! They got cookies for eighty nine cents. Little donuts, ninety nine cents, eighty nine cents. But we've been cutting like, well, I can only speak for me as far as family wise go. I've been cutting out a lot of carbs. Usually, I go pick some of this stuff up, but not today. Wow, they got a lot of these um dried fruit and stuff. I mean, we see some gaps, but they do have it. This here is, what, two ninety eight. the tropical fruit melon. It does come with pineapple, banana chips, golden raisins, raisins, papaya, and coconut. Two ninety eight for 7.5 ounces. How many of you guys actually sit down and eat this for a snack versus, like, potato chips and stuff? Oh, now this is pretty cute, the way they got the freezer set up. I actually like that is up and down Ugh, this is the seafood part let's go ahead and swing around and look at some of the prices of their seafood i like crab cakes they do have the broadwalk crab cakes here for 6.99 um 
some of the other fish op options wild pacific white in that 655 for the pound there well it's coming in at 437 a pound the sockeye salmon it does say wild caught there um but it is coming in at 12.98 per pound not seeing much that they really have to offer as far as their seafood section they got the black tiger shrimp here um it's 15.99 a pound though Oh, they're comfy. At least they're family size. You get 36 count of their K-Pods here for $12.35. And they also have, what, French Rose Donut Shop. And they have Breakfast Blend. They don't have plenty of chicken, but they do have chicken available. $3.99 a pound for some chicken breasts. Eight oh three for this here pack. Then they have some chicken thighs coming in actually at um, $1.59 a pound. That's a family size pack. Oh, they got the larger here. Um, peppers. Here, three in the pack. They are larger. And it's $3.99. It's the sweet long peppers here. I've been really into pistachios lately. I just don't like how they're so expensive. But these are the salted dry roasted pistachios here. Um, how many ounces is this? Oh, this is almost two pounds. 1.5 pounds here. And it's $9.98. I think that's all right. 24 ounces, family size. A lot of their um, freezer items just look like it's running low. Maybe they can't get it, but as mentioned before, it is supposed to be a shortage on like seafood in general because of the droughts. A lot of juice fiends haven't seen these cartons of juice in general. I don't know about the brand, but cartons of juice must buy two to get it for a dollar each. It's two for two limit ad of six that's not bad getting these for a dollar because you can't really find that anymore oh wow look at the price of their ground turkey what is this 13.74 and that's the normal three pound uh, package there for now i'm staying away from any meat that doesn't have any bones they trying so hard to put that lab grown meat on the shelves it's supposed to be labeled though it's supposed to be labeled but who really knows if it's going to be labeled but how much is this this is pork bone and thick center cut chops here and it is eight dollars and 36 cents all right rice cut rustelli's wag you ground i guess it's some type of beef this one here so 769 cents is 5.98 per pound Smithfield been everywhere lately. I've been seeing like a lot of Smithfield products. Hey, you are. Um, fresh pork here, pork tenderloin. How much is this? Three eighty-four pound. But yeah, Smithfield they've been everywhere. I don't see any like bone and steaks or anything in here though. What's this? Premium beef. Two of these. Oh, that's that uh, filet mignon. Yeah, coming in at. Oh, this thing is $17.24. I know that thing don't say $21.80 to a pound. They have this. Nope, it is. It's $21.82. They so tiny, though. Uh, you see the discoloration of um, this here meat versus this here meat. And this here meat is very dark, like it's been in the heat or something. It looked like somebody tried to defrost it in the microwave and it started cooking. Even with these packages, y'all concern like even though it does feel like it's a bone in here it don't feel like a bone to me it feel more so like 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 gristle like thick tissue it don't feel like an actual like an actual bone you know i don't you know feel gristle i don't know that's what it feel like and crappy low prices they don't have much meat to offer that's what i can say pasta the dorm coming in at a dollar ninety nine oh wow this is some very long pasta here look how long this is I'm right now, I'm gonna be. Oh, this is so cool. I like this little cup. It's for like yogurt and it's just cute. A little spoon and everything. My mother's finding some seasonings over here for a dollar ninety nine cents. What kind of seasonings they have? Season blend, fondue. Right, it is a dollar. 
um stuff just everywhere all up in here though they got the crispy fried onions here they're 3 dollars though have spraying oil basil flavor sounds interesting look at the back store in a cool place ingredients 51 percent extra virgin olive oil sunflower oil natural basil flavors this might be interesting for some they have some grilled eggplant with herbs and sunflower oil here mm, yum 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 then they have the zucchini as well these are grilled vegetables here with herbs and sunflower oil 2.99 10 ounces the unbelievable quality finds are in these crates best believe it how much is this one knife I don't know. Where are the prices? You say knife ass assortment. Or how much is the actual knife? It doesn't say. Wow, sugar is only two seventy five here for the four pound bag versus it being over three dollars everywhere else. I mean, they don't have a lot of it, but they do have it. Two seventy five. How much of it is their flour? Yeah, that price is definitely covered. Get my coconut oil. 15.2 ounces here, 6.35. That's not bad, and it's organic. Being that stuff and did go up in price, then the 93 cents is not bad right now for a box of stuffing. But I don't hear people just eating stuffing with a regular meal. It's usually cooked like on the holidays. Brown sugar went up in price no matter like where you go because it's 2.34 just for. The, even off brand of their brown sugar. They have a dark brown one, and this actually looks dark, and it's two forty nine. All right, we can get this today. Pretty much the price of the Idahoan um, potatoes anywhere is either a dollar forty four over ramen in general for a box of this twelve. There's even three ninety nine here. Same thing with the Ben's original. Some people still use this as a staple when they cook this all the time. Um, 233 is 244 in Walmart. So they do have it available. Great options if you don't want the rice in general. 299 here. What? This one? Oh, you want some couscous? No, it's that kind of on that couscous. Oh, okay. It's such a small box though, but hey, it's a substitute if you don't want rice. And as far as their rice go, I guess they don't have like big bags of rice here. It's a dollar ninety-five here for the long grain boil in a bag. Four bags of rice. We discussed the price of pepper. It's ridiculous, but they have pepper here for two ninety-nine, and it is three ounces. They do have canned vegetables available right now. I am seeing most of the vegetables coming in be anywhere between sixty-four cents. Um, for the corn there and the Del Monte is usually a dollar 38 here, but they got a price cut saving 19 cents and it's dollar 19 right now. Dips 249 for assorted varieties. Right now, they got curry sauce dip. Interesting, guess you can dip like roti or something in there. Sounds good. Beans in general have been going up in price, so it'll say no artificial flavors. But the original baked beans here for the 28 ounces is $1.94. Combos used to taste so good, but I tried these a few years ago and they didn't taste the same. So I didn't ever buy them again. Plus, they always been a little bit out of my price range. Potato chips. They do have potato chips available. But even here, like chips that usually or typically used to cost a dollar and change, even here is $3.28. For us. All right, the parking lot is full, but there's not like too many people in here. Oh wow, they got a puffer, puffer duffer, little puffer puffer. How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, this is a vest. The lady's jacket is only thirteen ninety nine. I guess this where everybody been at, cause no one's really shopping for food like that. All right, great little spring jacket there. Oh, they have this electric food grinder. Must have been returned here. 
Um, it is $49.99. And you only have one available. Oh, I thought this was so cute. Hub Zed bought me one of those little, um, I put Rosetta's. I don't know what it's called. It's a whole like little table set grill thing you can do with these little things. Rachelettes, that's what it's called. It's right here in my face. Um, I still haven't used it. It's just in the box on my kitchen floor. Maybe I'll hook it up and use it. But I think stuff like that is really cute. Hey, they are right here. The electric food grinders. That one was just in the wrong spot. Would you buy this? Or do you have one? Face tissues on sale right now. Save a dollar. Um, 87. Four pack. 320 count. Though. Just look out for that. It's 80 pack. Um, 80 tissues in each pack. If you want to buy organic... 99 cents for the baby food in the pouch here. I bought the pouches off of Amazon where you could go ahead and make these kind of pouches here with the little top and you can make them yourself. It came with a little syringe thing to put the food through and all. Probably be more cost effective versus buying pouches. I never tried their diapers before, but they don't seem that bad in price. 509 for a pack here. But I think Walmart is cheaper. Walmart is like four dollars and change rice so. cut toothpaste kids toothpaste right now is 69 cents bubble gum flavor let's try one the price of pet food in general did go up in price for a can of the pedigree here um dog food is a dollar 82 y'all bleach this is isn't this the brand that's in dollar tree and stuff isn't it it is it's a dollar 99 here i didn't Come on, stop it. Stop, stop. We know where it's at. You want oh, Chef Bourdain or you want Chef Bombay? Oh, um, she wanted A lot of their freezer sections look pretty much like this. <laughs> Gallon of milk here is what, $3.99, $2.49 for that half. Let's see some eggs. Organic cage free eggs at 355 here for the brown eggs. Forty-eight fo forks and spoons, all of that. Two ninety-nine. Dollar tree. For dollar twenty-five or dollar general for a dollar. All right, fam. So we just came from Liddy. Um, I think I'm saying it right now. Let me know if I'm saying it right. Give me a thumbs up if I'm saying it right now. Because I was calling it Liddell. I renamed the whole store at one point when we went. Um, <laughs> but yes, I did notice that some of the prices in there are okay. But I'll, it depends on what you want to buy though. But I also noticed on a few items like the bleach. The last totally awesome bleach. You can buy that in Dollar General for a dollar in the dollar aisle. Not sure if it's the same size. But they do sell that bleach. And over it, and Liddy, they was selling it for $2.99, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, hold up. Yeah, for real. Um, they did have some gaps, especially in a freezer section. So if I was going there looking for something like in specific, I probably would have never found it just because they did have a numerous amount of gaps in the freezer area um also what else the forks you get like 45 forks and knives um the plastic wear for a dollar and you know dollar general in their dollar section and a dollar 25 at you know dollar tree they were charging two dollars and change for their 40 something 45 count or 48 count of their um they're plastic wear. No, mm -mm, we're not doing that. You know, when you shop at a different amount of stores, you kind of know the prices of some things and you kind of get familiar with the brand of certain items that's being sold, right? So when I'm seeing Lost Totally Awesome over in Liddy and they charging $2.99 for it, it's a big N-O for me. Uh, <laughs> yes, but we did walk through. This is probably about my second time ever going to the store not a store that i would typically go into often um i can find things elsewhere cheaper in in my honest opinion even in their meat section their meat section was very picked over i didn't see any really good good prices with the meat um let's just say for my travel to go to this store 
I don't think that I would have, I would have had enough savings just to make that particular trip. And they also didn't sell like items that I wouldn't find anywhere else for the same price, personally. But it is an okay store. I do like the fact that stores like this do have other items besides grocery. So they did have like clothing items, kitchenware, um... What else they had? They had like little knickknacks for kids, knickknacks for yourself. I do like that part though. I did like that. Um, and maybe that's what I will go there more so for versus certain of the foods. That's just what I got. Maybe I just have to go to a different Liddy. Maybe just this one wasn't it for me. Though I still enjoyed the experience, probably I just have to go to a different one. Let me know if you guys shop at Liddy um and would you have picked up a few things from this particular store that we walked through today let me know in the comments down below we're gonna leave this video right here where it's at i want to thank you all for coming along with me and the fam to the store today again um yeah happy valentine's day guys because today is valentine's day and a girl is tired Hang on. a girl is tired so we're gonna leave this video right here where it is at and we're going to continue to be prepared. You guys always be on the lookout for current shortages, price increases, and let us know in the comments down below. Remember, you guys can also email me. Everything is in the description box. You can email me or find me on the social media platforms that's listed below. Until next time, this is Shauna, and I'm officially checking out from Moments With Us. Stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. If you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, all you have to do is subscribe. And if you've been here before, of course, thank you so much for coming back. Until next time, y'all, I'm up out of here. Stay safe, y'all.